Hey guys, John V here from Phone Rena. I've been checking out the Verizon Galaxy Nexus just for a little bit here, playing it out of the box, and I'm just going to show you a couple different benchmark tests uh, that we've ran on the device and just give you a quick show of what kind of performance you can expect out of the box with it. So, right now we have a uh, live wallpaper activated, it's a very graphically intensive one. You could tell with the uh, just moving around the home screen, a little bit jumpy and choppy with its movement. It's not a, not as not as uh, tight as we'd like, or doesn't exhibit the fluidity that you find on other devices like the Galaxy S2, um, you know, uh, lineup out there. But it's more than tolerable. Opening up at various applications, kinetic scrolling, stuff like that. You know, very easy and quick. You could tell with its movement. Show you what it looks like with a uh, static wallpaper, and you can tell the difference in performance. It's pretty much night and day with uh, with the two. So here's with a static wallpaper, you can tell already moving much more, f much faster, and it's able to track our finger almost instantaneously. So which is very nice. Uh, that's the thing that you really want to see with a flagship device. And again, opening up applications, going through the uh, menus here, a very tight response. And same thing with the uh, web browsing here. Quickly launch the web browser. Get to our website here as we wait for it to load here. And as it's loading, you could already interact with the website. And you could tell, very fluid, very nice with its uh, operation here. So definitely a fast handset thanks to its dual core processor. Um, now quickly show you the uh, benchmark test here. The first one I'm going to run here is just Quadrant. And um, to tell you the truth, it's not yet optimized for ice cream sandwich, and you'll see why here in the end. Let's run it again. Show what it is. So uh, we'll wait for it to go into the graphical test uh, uh, component of the uh, benchmark here to show you what we mean. Um, it loads, it completes the entire quadrant benchmark uh, test very quickly, but you'll see with some of the uh, the frame rates with the uh, with the uh, graphical components like this one here is running at 11 frames per second. This one here um, at the most 25, it's looking like a uh, very choppy. You can even tell already as it's moving, you know, from different scen scenarios, it's already very choppy with its movement here. And this next one. Uh, running at a very slow seven frames per second. This one we normally see at uh, easily 60 with other devices. And the last uh, component here is uh, running at 10, 15 frames per second, well below usually at least 30 frames per second. And you'll see the, the results here. So it doesn't put up anything great. Actually, 1368, the final score with Quadrant. And if we run that again, uh, the highest that we've seen it go up to is uh, 1700. Again, that's just because the Quadrant Benchmark app isn't necessarily, uh, you know, fine-tuned to actually work properly with an ice cream sandwich. So the other one I'm going to show you, which is a little bit more accurate with its uh, performance, is the N22 Benchmark test here. I'm going to show you the overall results. We managed to get 6,046 as a total score running everything here. And um, if we do a score chart compared to the competition, it's well in line with uh, the uh, with the uh, ga the uh, Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the GSM version. You can tell we're at 6,046 above the Galaxy S2 just minutely. And of course, you can see the Asus Transformer Prime being the top, top, top line device as far as just the NT2 benchmark test is concerned. But still, um, it's we definitely like the fluidity that it offers with the static wallpaper. You can see right away it's very instantaneous with its movements. All the transition effects, very nice. Uh, a little bit more choppy, of course, with the uh, graphically intensive live wallpaper, but other wallpapers are less intensive. Work a little bit better, of course, but we'll be checking it out, see how it handles in the long run. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching, guys.